All right. So when you do a perpendicular bisector to a triangle, causing this side to be equal lengths, that automatically means that these two sides are also going to be equal lengths. When you have an angle bisector of an angle, and you have the angle the same here to here, meeting at the same point, that means that these two lengths are equal. Okay, And like this one, because these two triangles are side, 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 everything about them is congruent. Here, because this is a right angle, using hypotenuse leg theorem, everything about these two triangles is the same as well. Hypotenuse leg theorem. Hypotenuse leg theorem. Okay? Uh, you could also do angle, angle, side in this situation, so. All right. So let's talk about in center. So when you find the perpendicular bisectors, they meet in one place. Now, you only need two angle bisectors because if you found out where two of them meet, you automatically know where the third one meets. But I just wanted to show you all three angle bisectors. So angle bisectors, where they meet is equidistant from all of the sides. So the shortest length from here to here, the shortest length from here to here, and the shortest length from here to here are going to be equal to each other. Okay? Meaning these are all radiuses of the circle that you can draw inside called the inscribed circle. Okay? So all these lengths are, are the same. This one, that one, and that one. All right? This is the in center, and this is an inscribed circle. Now here, if you do the perpendicular bisector of all the sides, okay? If you do the perpendicular bisector of all the sides, that means that all of the corners are equidistant from this point called the circumcenter. Okay? Right here. Now, that is the center of the circle that perfectly goes around there. All right? That's a circumscribed circle. That's a circumcenter. So... These are opposites of each other. The angle bisectors find a point that is equidistant from all the sides, and the perpendicular bisector, cutting all the sides in half, finds a point that is equidistant from all of the corners. Okay? All right. Then we have medians. Okay? That is a line coming from the corner, cutting the side in half. Okay? Cutting from the corner and cutting the side in half. Coming from the corner and cutting the side in half. That cuts these pieces into a one-third piece and a two-thirds piece. So if this piece is five and that's one-third, then the other piece has to be ten. And the full length of the whole thing is fifteen. If they say that two-thirds is eight, I know that one-thirds is four and the full length of it is 12, okay? If they tell me the whole thing is uh, 18, I can divide this by three, and I'll find out that this one-third is six, and two-thirds is 12. So no matter what they give you first, if they give you both sides, or if they give you the small one, you can figure out the big one, if they give you the big one, you can figure out the small one and the total length. If they figure out the total length, you can figure out the small one and the big one. So that's through medians. And this dot right here is called the centroid. Last one here, altitudes. So altitudes is the height. So if I come from the top point and I go straight down at a 90 degree angle, that is the height. Now if I turn this and find the height again, and then turn it and find the height again. If the dot ends up inside, it is an acute triangle. If it ends up on the outside of the triangle where the points meet, that is an obtuse triangle. And if it meets in a corner, then that triangle is a right triangle. So that dot is called the orthocenter. That's it.